gentlemen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Crossing. That's right. And I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. Bringing you nothing but the best. Nothing but the greatest. Hey. Nothing but the latest. Hey. Greetings, Miss Bob Ziva. Good morning. Billy <laughs> Chica. Let's get with it. Let's do it. That's right, welcome back. I'm waking up, I'm dancing on their heads. I can't talk if you sounding like a fed. Welcome, welcome. What's that? Put it over there. Hey. I'm playing with the keys. Hey. Somewhere flossing overseas. I'm the best thing that you never had. Pyro Show. Nothing but the best. 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 Nothing Ain't no way we compare. Good morning, you know, Yabby. I heard what you said. Yes. You sound like a dog. Step it on the gas. Let's go, let's go, man. Right. I'm waking up and dancing on their heads. That's right. I can't talk if you're sounding like a fist. Hey, we can't What's talk that? if you're sounding you like the fist. Good I'm morning, Angela. How are you? Picasso when I'm playing with the keys. Hey. Somewhere flossing overseas. Somewhere flossing. I'm the best thing that you never had. Hey. I'm a monster when I'm in my bag. Let's, let's go. Let me give it to you when I'm on top of the show. It's a never-ending climb. 
I'm moving a hundred of these rats. I'm like the Terminator screaming, I'll be back. It's deja vu when I'm out here flying first class. It's like every week I gotta take out the trash. once again in the Thunderdome, right? All right. Uh, and, and it's time to get straight down to business. All right. We're getting closer and closer to getting Donald Trump's mug shot. All right. Before I get into that, though, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce myself. I got to introduce myself because I know there's people here who don't know who I am. Right. And I got to make sure they know who I am before we get this show off the ground. For those of you who do not know who I am, I go by the name of Zeus. All right. As you can see, look at that. Look at that, that Zeus shirt. It feels so warm and snuggly right now because it's, it's, actually, it's actually one of the best shirts I've ever worn in my life, all right? I go by the name of Zeus, or as some like to say, Triple H. And why do they call me Triple H? Well, it's quite simple. The first H is because I'm the most honest person out here on social, social media. There's nobody more honest than me. I promise to tell you nothing but the truth, so help me God, seriously. All right? And the next H is because I'm the most humble person out here on social media. There's nobody more humble than me. Listen, if I get it wrong, I will be the first to apologize. What? I went and got myself some ice cream and I didn't get you any on a hot sunny day. Listen, I'm so sorry. Not only will I go back and get you some ice cream, but I'll get ice cream for everybody on the block, right? That's how humble I am, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and the last H, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is because I am... And will always remain the most handsome. There's nobody more handsome than me. Listen, many are called, but only a few are chosen. And I am the chosen one. What we do on this side of TikTok, ladies and gentlemen, is quite simple. We tell the truth. And that involves holding our friends on the right, especially their leader, Donald J. Trump, accountable. Right? He needs to be held accountable for his dirty, disgusting, filthy deeds, which involves a lot of crime, right? Where are we at right now? How many felonies is Donald Trump out there uh, facing right now? Does anyone know how many felonies Donald Trump currently has? By I'm just curious. I think it's 90, 91, right? 91? So when you got 91 felonies uh, and you're running to be president of the United States of America, uh, you definitely will be front and center in this kingdom because we can't have that. We can't have a criminal in the White House now, can we? Nobody wants a criminal in the White House. This programming is rated Z, all right? All right, this is rated Z programming. You hear them going, what do you mean rated Z? Well, listen, there's rated G, there's PG-13, there's rated R, there's X, and in some cases, triple X, I hear. But this is Z, and Z stands for off the rails. <laughs> Listen, I cannot have you spreading lies in this on this side of TikTok, on this platform, Eric. We don't lie, all right? So when I said there, we can't have a criminal in the White House, and then you turned around and you typed in the comment section that President Biden is a criminal, you're lying, right, Eric? And I don't want to ask my moderators to have to put you in a little five-second straight jacket, all right? So no lying, Eric. You know the rules, and you created them. Uh, unless you have a docket number to, to validate any of those kind of claims you're making, uh, then cut it out. And that goes for anybody else that, that is listening to that MAGA-possessed demon, okay? Because it's a MAGA-possessed demon that got these Trump supporters on edge, all right? And, 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 you know, I didn't used to be this way with MAGA. I really didn't. I used to be a lot kinder, right, Angela? I used to be a lot kinder. But I can't be kind anymore to you, MAGA, because the gloves are off, right? The gloves are off, Angela. Everyone knows he's, and I wouldn't have said this three weeks ago. I wouldn't have said it. I was actually very kind to him. I was very kind to him, but now we can't be kind anymore because the gloves are off. The jar has been opened. The jar is open. He's taken millions of dollars from other countries like China. He's totally compromised. He's taken millions and millions of dollars from other countries. All right, so you know what the rule is. Every 
MAGA accusation is truly a MAGA confession, all right? And so I don't take any of the, the negative things they say about me personal. In this live, ladies and gentlemen, and, and I got to say this to my friends on the left with me, all right? My fellow Democrats, my, my real Republicans, or as the Trump supporters like to call you, rhinos, and, and to the independents, think of it like this. Whenever you have a MAGA possessed individual demon possessed individual call you names they call you names they curse at you think of it as a compliment because what they're really doing is they're projecting they're confessing to you what they know is the problem with themselves right if they tell you that president biden is a criminal right this is their favorite thing biden is a criminal what they're really saying is we know donald trump is a criminal but there's nothing we can do about it right <laughs> It's going to be an off the rails type of thing over here, uh, Trump supporters. And by the way, MAGA, listen, if you don't like the truth, this is your opportunity to exit the live right now. If you don't like hearing truth, MAGA, listen up. If you don't like hearing truth, if you don't like seeing mug shots like this of your fellow Trump supporters, right? These folks, these are Trump supporters. This is John Eastman, Scott Hall. And they went down to Georgia yesterday and, and, and they tried to proclaim their innocence, but they walked away <laughs> with some mug shots. Maggot, listen up. If you don't like to see this kind of stuff, now is your chance to lead this live, all right? But you don't have to take my word for it. Listen to your leader. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. And now, that, and many of you know, that's one of the rare times that I actually agree with the former president. Listen, if you're sitting at home right now, you're crying about President Biden, do us all a huge favor. Pack your bags. Pack your bags right now. Call the nearest airport. Book yourself a flight straight out of the United States of America. I really don't care where you go. As far as I am concerned, you don't belong here. You don't, you don't deserve to enjoy the benefits of this great country. You belong over there in Russia. All right. You belong over there in China with President Xi eating some chocolate cake. All right. Better yet, you belong in Iran. How about that? Go to Iran. Or better yet, how about you just go to North Korea? I hear uh, they got a lot of love for Donald Trump and his supporters in North Korea, right? <laughs> now, let's get started with today's programming. You know what we're doing over here on this side of town. Uh, we're over here and we are cooking. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, these mug shots were released yesterday of... Uh, some of Donald Trump's most loyal supporters, all right? Uh, and I want to make sure you Trump supporters take a good, close look at these mug shots, all right? Because what this mug shot represents, as far as I am concerned, is MAGA, right? Any Trump supporter out there, this is going to be your future. I've been saying it for quite a while. Any Trump supporter, listen, there's two things guaranteed. Jail. And if you don't get your soul right, hell. Hell will truly be your portion, MAGA, because you got a MAGA-possessed demon inside of your, your body. You know, the body is supposed to be the temple if you follow the Bible and you're a real Christian. But your temple shouldn't be defiled. But you've allowed your temple to be defiled by Donald J. Trump, who's having his way with your behind. And now it's going to cost you a lot more. Listen, you got, you got these Trump supporters right now arguing in the kitchen, they're in the kitchen with their wives and their children, and they're having to dip into their 401ks, and they're going, baby, listen, listen, baby, listen, I need to take the money out of the 401k because I got to pay for my criminal defense because I was wrapped up in this thing with Donald Trump. You know, it cost me my life. It cost me my freedom, right? Oh! <laughs> Don't move me. Sending Donald Trump their money 
or they're sending their, their, their attorneys, their, all their hard-earned cash, they're taking loans out, they're, they're doing an early withdrawal in their 401ks. They've even gone as far as to get into cryptocurrency, right? They're into this crypto stuff, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and stuff like that. All of this because they have to spend money now on criminal defense. Wow. You know what I say? What a shame. <laughs> gentlemen i want to get us uh, started on what uh what i'm doing right here in the kingdom now many people want four more years of donald j trump and i've heard the cries we would love to have trump in the white house again zeus uh the economy was so much better when trump was in the house my 401ks was doing great life was good all the way up until the pandemic this is what trump supporters say life was good in the united states of america up until the pandemic. So I said, I don't believe that at all. Number one, you're out here selling lies. So I said, what better way to illustrate this, ladies and gentlemen, than for us to start keeping track of where we are in President Biden's current administration and, and do a good and let's, let's try our best. Let's try our best to compare and contrast what President Biden is currently doing. Right with what Donald Trump was doing at around the same time, right? So today is day 946 of President Biden's administration. Let's give President Biden a round of applause. Uh, at or around the same time during Trump's administration, uh, I want you to feast your eyes on the headline above. Trump increased tariffs on Chinese goods after hours after slamming the feds chief ladies and gentlemen uh you all remember this peter alexander nbc news the white house here you go you all remember there you go. hold on hold on hold on let me let me get this queued up again this is let's all take a trip down memory lane with each other okay hold on hold on i we got you know they got to do the commercials i'm so sorry we got to do the commercials all right Many of you recall this. Once you hear this stuff, you're going to relive 2019 and you're going to go, yeah, you know what? I don't really believe these Trump supporters anymore, right? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. The hike tariffs on some Chinese products in response to Beijing this morning, slapping new tariffs on $75 billion in American-made goods. The president unloading a series of furious tweets, including this extraordinary directive. Our great American companies are hereby ordered to immediately start looking for an alternative to China, including bringing your companies home. President Trump, who doesn't have the authority to do that, revealing his anger amid recent warning signs a recession could be on the horizon. While some U.S. companies have started looking for other places like Vietnam to produce their products, many businesses want a move could be time-consuming and costly threatening to put them out of business. The president also lashing out at his hand-picked Federal Reserve Chair, Jerome Powell, tweeting, My only question is, who is our bigger enemy, Jay Powell or China's Chairman Xi? That swipe after Powell today didn't rule out future interest rate cuts, but suggested the central bank was limited in what it could do to buffer the president's trade policies. Mr. Trump's repeatedly ignored the longtime tradition that a president respect the Fed's independence. Jay Powell and the Federal Reserve have totally missed the call. Jay Powell's made a big mistake. The latest clash hours before President Trump heads to the G7 summit with allies waiting, already anxious about a slowing global economy. Peter Alexander, NBC News, the White House. Wow! Oh. Oh. Look at what Trump was doing to our great country, slapping tariffs on China, bringing the economy to a halt. This is way before President Biden was ever in the picture. This is way before COVID was in the picture, MAGA. So why do you continue to get out here on social media and lie? The economy was a lot better when Trump was in office. Do you not remember this stuff? Were you? Have you been so deep in this MAGA cult that you blacked out? During the four years Trump was in office, MAGA, you know what I got to say to you? What a shame. Listen, it, go, it gets 
worse, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it. Look at it. August 23rd, 2019. This is what Trump had going on in our great country of the United States. The Dow plummeted more than 600 points after Trump orders U.S. manufacturers to leave China. Oh! What a shame! <laughs> so, 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 MAGA, cut it out. Please stop lying out here on social media. Snuggles, if you're out there, Snuggles, I gotta be real honest with you. Once again, We've caught you in another one of Donald Trump's traps where you've been lying, right? And and you really can't defend this one, Snuggles, because the only thing you can say to this is it didn't happen, right? That's going to be the thing. Or you're going to try to say it was the Democrats. But I'm going to tell you, this was this is well before the Biden regime, all right? The Biden regime took uh, took over, right? And by the way, by the way, you know how they say, you know, I have this list of Biden accomplishments, right? I have a list of accomplishments. I will... I will be adding to the list of President Biden accomplishments uh, uh, that the Biden regime successfully indicted and charged the former president. How many of you think that's a great accomplishment for President Biden? All right, all right, all right. Now let's move on to some current events, ladies and gentlemen. You want to know there's some current events going on. Uh, and what are these current events? Oh, I know. Rudy Kaludi Giuliani is planning to meet with Fonnie Willis. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, have you heard the news? Oh, yeah, and, and, and you know what? He gave us a nice... What are you doing? He gave us a, a nice little treat before he went in, ladies and gentlemen. He really did. He gave us a nice little treat before he went in, all right? Yes, uh, so Trump supporters, you know I showed you the mug shots earlier, right? Because I want you to know that this is what comes... Uh, wait a second. Biden is not corrupt. Please, please stop lying in the comment section. President Biden is not corrupt. You need to have a docket number, Trump supporters, all right? You really do. Now, surrender to name Fulton listen County. to Rudy Giuliani. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm going to Fulton County to comply with the law, which I always do. I'll, uh, I don't know if I plead today, but if I do, I plead not guilty. And I get photographed. Isn't that nice? They... A mugshot for the man who probably put the worst criminals of the 20th century in jail. You find a prosecutor who has a better record of mine in the last hundred years. That you know, or me. And they're gonna, they're going to, they're gonna degrade themselves by doing a mugshot of me. Like people will recognize me. And now, of course, they can fingerprint me, but I've been fingerprinted 150 times. So this will turn out exactly like the FBI search turned out. They are lying. I'm telling the truth. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, let's give, let's give Bonnie Willis, let's give Bonnie Willis a round of applause. Listen, we got Rudy Kaludi Giuliani acknowledging that he has to surrender. Trump supporters, you know what, you know what, what I love about all of this is it's obvious that Rudy Kaludi has been listening to these lives out here on TikTok and he made the right call, right? He made the I call. am giving the defendants he made the, the right call to voluntarily surrender no later than noon on Friday, the 25th day of August, 2021. Come on, Bonnie. You can't Keep on bringing them in. <laughs> in the indictment is charged with one count of violating Georgia's Racketeer and Corrupt Organization Act today based on information developed by that investigation a Fulton County grand jury returned a true bill of indictment alright the indictment brings felony charges who? against who? Donald John Trump oh Rudolph William Lewis Giuliani, John Charles. Oh my! Houston, Get them all, Bonnie. Mark Randall Melody or not? That's right. You, you can't hide. Right. Don't mind you. This sounds good in the gun. Get them. Ready or not? I am 
giving the defendants the opportunity right. to voluntarily surrender no later than noon on Friday, the 25th day of August, 2023. All right, all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, especially you Trump supporters, this is a remarkable day in American history because we all know that come high noon tomorrow, your fearless leader, Donald J. Trump, will join the club of criminal gang. These are real gangs. These are real thugs. These are nasty, nasty, traitorous criminals that tried to steal our democracy away from us. And Donald Trump will join that crew tomorrow and get his mugshot taken. And we will have that as well. Uh, and along those lines, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to let you Trump supporters know this. Uh, word around town. And, and, and listen, you know, the, the Republican debate is today and Donald Trump isn't going to be there. How many of you are happy that Donald Trump won't be on the debate stage today? <laughs> you know, uh, I hate to break the news to you, Trump supporters. There's not going to be a Trump 2024, all right? Because part of running for president means you got to show up to work and do what you're... And these debates, if you ask me, this is something you must do. And, and, and from the way it's looking, Trump's not going to have any time to do the work it takes to end up in the White House because he's going to be preoccupied with all of these court cases, right? He's going to be preoccupied with all this litigation. He's going to be preoccupied, ladies and gentlemen. And, and, and if you follow what the Republicans are saying, you know, the Democrats, we've already said this. But if you follow what the real Republicans are saying, the ones you call rhinos, right? They're saying Donald J. Trump is ineligible for office. <laughs> Come on. Uh, here's the deal. According to the findings of a newly published University of Pennsylvania law school study authored by two staunch conservatives that say Donald Trump would be ineligible to serve because of his role in the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Oh, my gosh. He asserts these listen, these folks assert that the study shows that with true authority that Trump has violated the fourth qualification by providing aid and comfort to an insurrection and enemies of the United States Constitution. And I'm just going to leave it right there. I'm going to put a pin in it, Trump supporters. All right, I'm going to really be honest with you. I need you to stop spreading this lie that it wasn't an insurrection because it was. It was an insurrection. I need you to stop spreading the lie that it was a peaceful protest. It wasn't a peaceful protest. We all saw that Confederate flag being waved around in there. As far as I was concerned, this was another attempt of the South trying to rise and try to take over the North, led by Donald J. Trump and his cronies. <laughs> This was an insurrection, all right? And you know what? There's a thousand or so of you supporters of his currently in jail, thousands of more of you pending trial, waiting to go to jail. And Donald Trump himself is now on the, on the verge of being put in jail. So as far as we're concerned, it was an insurrection. Listen, you know it wasn't a peaceful protest because look, folks are really going to jail. Folks are losing their life. So when you get out here on social media, on your Twitter pages, your Facebook pages, you can't really do it on TikTok because guess what? Zeus is on TikTok and I'm listening to what you're saying and I'm shutting the lies down right as you put them out. So you really can't get away with it on TikTok. But when you're on your other platforms, I want you to keep, uh, keep it in the back of your mind what I'm saying to you, all right? Because if I find you on whatever platform you're online, I will, I will be going, ah, 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 hold on. Hold on. How many people are in jail? How many felony charges is Trump currently dealing with right now? What happened to all of his witnesses? You know, they say the witnesses in the RICO indictment, right? There's, they say there's a total of 50, and this is true. 19 co-conspirators is Trump and his 18 co-conspirators. And then you got 30 unindicted ones, right? 
Add it up, that's 50. When Fonnie Willis gets done, we're probably going to dwindle down. There's probably only going to be, what, four defendants. There's probably only going to be four defendants that she takes to trial and takes the soul and the air out of their campaign. That's just how the cookie crumbles, MAGA. And, and with that, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say it again. Donald Trump will not be president ever again. He won't. You miss the first day of the job, which is the debate. You miss the first day. You don't get the job after that. I don't care if you go on the Twitter and do an interview with Tucker Carlson. No one's going to watch that. No one, no one goes, no one that actually is paying attention watches Tucker Irrelevant Carlson. Really? I know Snuggles does, but listen, he's irrelevant too, right? <laughs> Trump and his supporters. Uh-oh, I got to bring up this. This is a very interesting situation that we got going on. Yes, uh, trans, a trans, a member of the trans community who somehow, you know they were possessed with the MAGA demon, right? This is how you end up in this situation. This individual was possessed with the MAGA demon. Uh, a trans January 6th rioter is begging Marjorie Taylor Green to get her into a women's prison. <laughs> backwards this is all kinds of wrong uh listen this mega trans woman might be surpri surprised to fight surprised to find that green and other republicans aren't going to bat for her now listen uh ladies and gentlemen this this woman goes by the name of jessica watkins uh jessica you should not be begging anybody that is a man you should be on your knees Begging God, you know, the God you serve to get you out of this bind. You should definitely be praying to your God. But begging Marjorie Taylor Greene, I could have told you that was a terrible idea. Uh, what is it? Shouldn't this make Zeus happy? It does. It does. I, it makes me happy because it shows accountability. It shows it shows that law and order is working. Yeah, Jessica Watkins, who was sentenced to eight and a half years in prison in connection to her leadership role in the January 6th insurrection, is worried about being sent to a men's prison because she's transgender. She's asking for followers to get Marjorie Taylor Greene, Matt Gates, and Jim Jordan to pressure the the Federal Bureau of Prisons to place her in a women's prison. Green, Gates, and Jordan have all expressed anti-LGBTQI plus views in the past and are unlikely to support trans women being housed in women prisons. What a shame. <laughs> If you work iniquity, hell will be your portion. Hell will be your portion. Now, Jessica, you should have thought about this before you decided to go down there and support Donald Trump with the Proud Boys on January 6th, Jessica. You know, you can pick and choose what you want to do, but you can't choose the consequences. And I believe beyond a shadow of doubt that prior to Jessica going down there and being a vassal of transgression for Donald Trump, I believe there were, there were millions of people like myself out here on the internet in her real life telling Jessica, cut it out. Stop supporting Donald Trump. The man is a, a criminal. He's a grifter. He doesn't care about you. But you ignored our warning, Jessica. You heard the warning. <laughs> Supporters, stop! Trump supporters, stop! Supporting Donald Trump, stop! Sending him your money. But you didn't listen. You didn't listen to us. You thought you were more smarter than us. You thought you thought I was the fool. You hear these folks out here talking, they tell you right now, Zeus, you're the fool. I'm smarter than you. What happens a year later? They're in this situation. Begging Marjorie Taylor Greene, Jim Jordan, 
Matt Gates. Uh, newsflash, Jessica. They're criminals too. <laughs> At least that's what most people say. I mean, really? Snuggles, right? Remember we had this conversation, Snuggles? Who was the one that we said carried that, that pipe bomb around on January 6th? She can't help you. Right? Matt Gates. Uh, last I checked, he has a couple of criminal cases on his, on his back, too. And Jim Jordan? Not looking good. I heard he's got a couple of criminal cases. So listen, when you are in jail, don't lean on other criminals to get you out. That just, That's not going to help you. You need people who are pure, people who are clean, real people that can have, you know, power to help you. If I were Jessica, to be quite honest, if I were Jessica, you know who I would say? I'd say, President Biden, please help me, right? Isn't it? Don't you think she should uh, ask President Biden to help her? <laughs> oh, oh, Jessica, listen, take it from me. Go like this. Oh, I see the light. Biden, you did win the 2020 election. I'm so sorry. I got it wrong. I was under a strange delusion. Yes, the MAGA demon took possession. I... I renounce Donald Trump and MAGA going forward. Biden, please have mercy on me. Because Pres President Biden could probably help you. But but those folks you're reaching out to, they can't help you. As far as I'm concerned, you're doing all you can to stay in that men's prison. All right, now, one last topic to bring up. And this is one of my favorite topics, right? Right, Angela? This is one of our favorite topics, all right? And then I got to open up the box and hear from those of you who are brave enough to get in the box. Wow. What a what a, what a a great day today, right? It's a lot of content that we've gotten through. Uh, one of my favorite things to do on this app, uh, besides holding Donald Trump and his supporters accountable, uh, is making sure that when those seditionists traitorous, thug, criminals who attacked our capital on January 6th are being held accountable, making sure I highlight this because I'm really not, I'm really, even though it does make me, you know, feel good it's happening, I'm really hoping that there's a Trump supporter out there with that MAGA demon that when they see me covering these topics, they hear me and my friends bringing this stuff up, that they go, you know what? I've had enough. I am going to denounce Donald Trump going forward and move forward, you know, in a more healthier way. I'm hoping that these stories resonate with them and that they see themselves in these situations and, you know, get scared straight, so to speak, so that they don't end up becoming one of these people we end up talking about here on TikTok, right? <laughs> that I share this story about another January Sixer who's being held accountable. All right, Angela? And listen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before I read this, Trump supporters, like I say, if you don't like this content, you can leave. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country. You do. If you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. And leaving, <laughs> Taylor May, thank you. Leaving uh, jail is an option, too. All right? You can fly to another country, or as far as I'm concerned, going to jail is equivalent to leaving. A judge has sentenced a Maryland man to seven years in federal prison for his role in the Capitol riot, which included charging at a police officer while armed with a wooden pallet and a concealed firearm. <laughs> U.S. District Judge Christopher Cooper sentenced Christopher Albers Wednesday to seven years in federal prison. Prosecutors asked the court to send an unambiguous message, and they should, with Albers' case and had originally requested that he face 10 years 
for his assault on the Capitol, right? Christopher doesn't back the blue, even though he go on his social media, he says he does back the blue. You're attacking law enforcement, you don't back the blue. Albers, a former National Guardsman, was found guilty on nine charges in April and police arrested him at the Capitol on the night of January 6, 2021. <laughs> The day of the riot, Albers reportedly led protesters up the steps of the Capitol and was, quote, the first rioter to ascend and reach a staircase landing and the first one to place his hands on a United States Capitol police officer on those stairs. What a... Oh! with a wooden pallet and a concealed fully loaded firearm while wearing a gas mask and a metal plated body armor. He charged up the stairs using the wooden pallet as a battering ram against the officers guarding the stairwell. Prosecutors wrote, officers discovered his firearm that night when they took him in to custody. Ladies and gentlemen, it's with great honor, it really is, it's with great honor that we send the seditionist, traitorous, criminal thug to prison for seven years, all right? Let's send them off the old-fashioned way, all right? seditionist traitor you are and I hope you find some sort of peace while in jail all right Christopher and I hope that all of the Trump supporters who encouraged you to go there on January 6th Christopher I hope that they are putting money on your books and calling and checking on you every single day Christopher and I do hope that Donald Trump is actually calling and checking on you every single day, Christopher. All right. And then I want you to think to yourself while you're sitting in that jail cell, possibly with another prisoner, ask yourself, was it all worth it? Do you still think you still believe that the election was stolen, Christopher? All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's open up those boxes. <laughs> They don't like me because I tell the truth. Well, guess what? I'd rather tell the truth and be realer than you, all right? And listen, don't don't think of Donald Trump getting indicted uh, as a bad thing because you know what he says about those indictments. What does he say? Every time the radical left Democrats, Marxists, communists, and fascists indict me, I consider it a great badge of courage. All right. Yeah, yeah, what we're doing over here is handing out great badges of courage, all right? Donald Trump wants them, his supporters want them, and it is now time, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for us to, to really deal with what's going on with MAGA and their, and their seditionist, traitorous ways, all right? I, and I did used to be a lot kinder, but I can't be kinder anymore with you, Mago, because like like he says, the gloves are off. Everyone knows he's, and I wouldn't have said this three weeks ago. I wouldn't have said it. I was actually very kind to him. I was very kind to him, but now we can't be kind anymore because the gloves are off. The jar has been opened. He's taken millions of dollars from other countries like China. He's totally compromised. He's taken millions and millions of dollars from other countries. Yeah, the gloves are off, MAGA. The jar is open, all right? So I've opened up the boxes, and uh, let me ask this question. This is something I got to ask before I go deep. Are there any Trump supporters out there that want to come in the box today and apologize to the United States of America by a show of hands? Any Trump supporters out there? That after hearing this message, all this truth, are there any MAGA folks out there that have seen the light 
and want to come forward and apologize. We would love to hear from you by a show of hands. I know you're out there, Trump supporters. Any MAGA out there? Any MAGA out there? Uh, uh, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm saving a space for you. All right. Listen, nothing, nothing would really sh snuggles. How about you? No. Committed to America. You don't want to apologize yet. OK. OK. Now, you saw everything that I've covered, right? You know, jail is definitely an option for you. And if you don't get your soul right, hell will be your portion. You do know this, MAGA, right? Why do we need to apologize? All right, I'll give you a very quick answer. You need to apologize because you drugged this nation through one of the most nastiest abusive relationships I've ever seen. And you did it under the name of being patriotic. What you did, on our, what you did to our capital on January 6th, that wasn't the beginning. It's all the lies, right? Think about all the lies you've, you've spread and the harm that it's caused, right? Donald Trump, he lied about COVID, his supporter. He lied about these, these beautiful black women out there in Fulton County. He said they were stealing votes when they weren't, right? G causing them to get, uh, you know, threats. You lied about Ray Epps' involvement. Now his family's on the fifth. He's a MAGA supporter. You threatened to hang our vice president, right? So so that's why you need to apologize. But before you do, you do need to you do need to repent, Trump supporters. And I do mean that. All right. Oh, my gosh, it is so hot over here. All right. So fine. The option still stands, uh, MAGA. But if you if you don't want to apologize, you know, like I said, you might end up on this live. Uh, oh, my gosh, who do we have here? <laughs> Uh oh, Chrissy, are you there? Chrissy, are you there? Good morning. How yes. are you? Can you hear me? Yeah, how are you? Good morning. I'm doing. It's in and out. Uh huh. In and out. Are you on that mega Wi Fi, Chrissy? Uh oh. This yeah, is in the con. Working. How about this? Drop down and come back up, Chrissy. How about that? Drop down and please come back up. You know, the devil is trying to steal, all right? And we won't allow the devil to steal. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Your sound is going out. You can't hear me? You can't hear me? Wow. It's bad. Can you hear me? All right, I'm not. I'm not on MAGA Wi-Fi. Cut it out. Cut it out. Let's try this again. All right, Chrissy, where are you? Where are you? All right, I don't see you, Chrissy. How about this? Let's go. Uh, greetings, welcome, Miss Boss Diva. Good morning, Zeus. Good morning, Kingdom. Can everybody hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? This is weird. Okay, cool. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, I just had a quick question for MAGA real fast, you know, because, you know, like yesterday, Donald Trump said that he might uh, consider, you know, going to Russia, Russia, Russia. And so my question is, since you, you know, you MAGA people follow him around everywhere he goes, support him in everything he do, I'm hoping that you guys is going to go with him. <laughs> <laughs> so, if he leaves and go to Russia, are you guys going to go to Russia too? Uh, I just want to know. I'm asking. For I'm going to reset the live and let's see if that helps. All right. Okay. All right. Wow. All right. We're, we're, we're try this again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let All right, how about that? How, how about that? Is that better? 
Is that better? Much better? Much better, all right. <laughs> Wow. Thank you for that. The, for the gifts. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the subscriptions. All right. Let's try. Diva. How about now? Can anybody hear me and everybody hear me? Is that, is that sound better? Yeah, it does but, sound a little bit better, but it's crazy because I can um, barely. I mean, I can hear you, but you sound like underwater. That's weird, but um, as long as you can hear me, so Zeus is echoing, but y'all, can y'all hear me in the box? Can, can y'all hear me in the box? Okay, so I'm clear, okay. I, okay, as long as I'm clear right now, because I got a question for MAGA, and that is, since Donald Trump is thinking about fleeing to Russia, I want to know, is y'all going to go with them? Because I want for all of y'all to go with them. <laughs> so I'm hoping that you guys will be ready when he get ready to flee the country to go on and, you know, you know, his following can follow him right on along on out the country. So um, I'm hoping that you guys take a suggestion because even though he's going to be on the run, but you guys can, you know, support him in Russia. That's that's what I want to know. If you guys is actually that down with him and and that I don't know, stuck in his in and under his coat, would you actually uproot uproot your life and go to Russia with with Trump and just basically, you know, make that your god him and and Putin. <laughs> that's what I want to know. Trump is the Lord. Oh my God. I just happened to see that comment and that just kind of blew my mind. Trump is the Lord. And fish for fun say your mama, huh? Mm. <laughs> That's so funny. But anyway, I just wanted to come up here and ask Mac of that. So y'all can, you know, uh, comment in the comments or whatever. You know, if y'all plan on going to with Trump to Russia, um, because he's definitely going to, he's thinking about fleeing the country. I don't think that was no, that was no um, joke. I think he really, really is, is thinking about getting out the country, whether he is uh, noticed or not. He, he's going to run. I believe he's going, he's a fleer. Because he's a coward. Mm -hmm. So therefore, he not going, I mean, all these charges and Fannie Willis on his butt like that. I, I I don't think he's going to um I really don't think he's going to stay in, in the USA for too long. Let's see, did you plan on going back when Hillary lost in twenty sixteen? I wasn't planning on going nowhere. Period. I ain't going nowhere. I don't care who in the White House. So I don't know what you're talking about, Frederick, but you know, it's all good. And uh Lay off the morning booze. Okay, yeah. Pyro Joe, you got jokes. You be in here talking crazy about Zeus. But, um, you know, it's all good, though, because you have nothing better to do with your life other than be a MAGA supporter. Uh, okay, whatever. But um, anyway, that's the question that I wanted to pose because that's very, very important. He is going to flee. He is not going to be able to take this heat. All this smoke. Trump cannot handle. He's too old. He's too stupid. He's too privileged. He's too, you know, he just can't take that. And especially that Fulton County Jail. That's like, you know, Guantanamo Bay on steroids. So, yeah, you, you guys are um, really, really, you guys are pathetic, man. You know, y'all really are. You're pathetic. It's a shame. That you live your lives dealing with, man, y'all, y'all is, y'all is beyond words, man. I mean, I really can't say what I really want to say, cause you know this is Zeus's live, and I respect this man. But boy, I tell you the truth, if me, if y'all was face to face with me, 
you know, you would definitely not be able to catch this smoke either because I got it for you. I got it for you. I be in other lives cussing y'all out because <laughs> this is ridiculous. Y'all need, y'all need like a spanking on the butt. That's what y'all need. Y'all need some verbal spankings constantly all the time, especially snuggles. And I bet you Snuggles ain't even took that video down because he's he's despicable. You know what I mean? Shay, I'm, I'm sure you're going to come up here. Please, you know, let us know if that's what he did or not. But, you know, it's that it's that that's not acceptable at all. You know what I mean? You can be a lot of things, Snuggles, but disrespectful is not one of them. You know what I mean? If you have any kind of integrity about yourself, <laughs> You know what I mean? I definitely got a I got a beef with struck with struggles like uh like Southern Delight like to call you. Cause you are a struggle. You're a struggle to deal with. And I don't see how the heck Zeus even deal with you. I really don't. Even as a person, how could you be a good person? I don't see that. I don't see that. I just don't see nothing good about you. I I see Trump in you. That's what I see. You know what I'm saying? And um nothing good about Trump. In my, in my world, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got in a Southern Delight because you call him struggles because he struggles with the truth, and that's true. So, yeah. Well, but anyway. Um, yeah, well, you know, Snuggles will explain in his live. If you if you can get the, the, the gumption to quit getting banned all the doggone time, maybe you'd be able to and, and just have one account. I mean, I understand. You know what I'm saying? You got to have more accounts because people want to hate or whatever. But, yeah, you are definitely a coward, though, dude. You are a coward. I wanted to get up here yesterday, but I was so upset after Shay said that. I just took down. I I, I just could not because I was going to go crazy on you. You know what I mean? There's 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 things that you cannot do. What would you say, Zeus? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I said, we I said, got to bring one next Okay. All right, Zeus. But thank you for letting me vent on uh, Snuggles because he really need, he need a verbal butt whooping. Yeah. All right. Well, I love you, Zeus. I'll see you later. And um, hold it down for the kingdom like you always do. Thank you for everything you do. The most handsome, the most humble, you know what I mean? And the most honest. So, hey. deuces, I'm out. Later. Later. Oh my goodness. Wow. I couldn't say anything. You know, there's something going on. There's a MAGA demon. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me, ladies and gentlemen? Can you hear Zeus? It's weird, right? If I bring a person up, we get all of that interference. So, uh, yeah, Snuggles, you've turned out to be quite the highlight lately. Have you taken the video? Listen, I, 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 I don't watch snuggles videos i actually told him i said listen if you make me if i go in your live and you make me watch one of those ridiculous videos i'm going to block you that's what i told him i said i'll block you because listen i don't get on TikTok to watch snuggles videos they're not going anywhere i think i looked at one of his videos uh what did he have five views five views <laughs> Because no one watches them, not even his own friends. And then you know his account. How many accounts does he have? Ten different accounts. You got, to, you know, he tells his friends. He says, "I got ten different accounts. If you add up all the followers, I really got two hundred thousand followers." And I did the same thing. I did. I looked at all ten accounts. I said, "Snuggles, really? If you add up all the followers, these are the same followers on all ten accounts. That's not two hundred thousand. At best, it's barely over a thousand. Snuggles, cut it out." <laughs> Okay, time out. I will cut the live and start it up. Let's try that. What is what on earth? What on earth?